Hello everyone, I'm Sean. Alright, and this is Everyday Food Reviews. Today, we've got an energy drink review. We're going to be looking at four cans of energy drink. They're called Warrior. There's four different flavours. I'm going to thumbnail and I'll read the flavours. So the, these are 250ml cans. Um, we've got Citrus Delight flavour, Fizzy Apple, Overly Orange and Berry Burst. Now I'm hoping that the Berry Burst is going to be a cherry one, but I mean, they, they'd say Cherry Burst if it was. Now the, the most interesting thing about these, um, apart from them being cheap energy drinks from Pound Stretcher that are in different flavours instead of just a um, original energy drink flavour, um, the next most interesting thing is that they are made by Bulldog Power, which you may remember from a video I did in Grimsby where I looked at Bulldog Power and Matrix. Bulldog Power was recommended by uh, commenter Dane and also another channel called Need Energy. So uh, go and check out Need Energy. He's got um, a lot of energy drink reviews that, that we've not looked at. He's, he's got a lot of things we've not even heard of, so I mean... Um, I'm sure that works both ways, you know, we're uh, trying to find the most interesting stuff we can. We live in different parts of the country. Um, so yeah, we're, we're both, uh, yeah, always always on the hunt, as it were. So, 32 milligrams of caffeine per 100 mil, and we presumably have some sugar, 4.5 grams per 100 mil, so it's a sort of half sugar energy drink as we call them. Um, it's got the reduced sugar to avoid sugar tax but it's not sugar free. So it's not... So I'm, I mean John would be able to have a bit of a taste of this on keto but um, th these are some cheap ones he wasn't bothered about looking at anyway. Uh, interestingly the Bulldog Power talked about BCAAs. Um, this doesn't even contain that contentious claim. So if, if you remember in the Bulldog Power one, it said they had BCAAs, but I think to get a gram of the BCAAs, because they're, they're one of the few drinks in fairness to them that actually publish the amount. Most of them just say they've got it and then you assume it's next to nothing. But Bulldog Power come out and said, look, we've got BCAAs and here's the amount. See, it is next to nothing. So I think you'd have to have something like four litres of it to end up with one gram of BCAAs, if I remember rightly, something like that. It was, it was something insane. Um, we'll start with the orange one, because the, the last energy drink that I had um, was a few days ago. It was with John. It was the orange flavour C4. Um, I'll tell a lie. We, we've had, we had the cherry one a few days ago, the cherry one, and the... Um, Strawberry one. We had the orange one before that, but I, I can. I, I'll try that again. It wasn't the last energy drink I had, but out of these flavors, um, apple, lemon, and berry, it's the, the orange is the last one I had that's going to be comparable to any of these. So I'll have the orange one because I can still remember what that C4 is like. So I'll, I'll be able to remember more clearly what other orange flavored drinks are like because I've had one more recently. Got a guitar pick here. Comes in handy when you can't quite get under the ring pull there. Oh! It is very orange. I don't know what I expected. I wasn't expecting it to be clear. It's not pretending to be a sports drink or something, but it was very orange. It's a lot like a Fanta. I think because I'm thinking of the C4, you know that was clear. Cheers. It's quite a punchy orange. Um, smells very orangey. Um, doesn't taste quite as sort of punchy as Fanta. But then this is an energy drink and it's probably cheaper than a Fanta can. I think these were something like 29 or 39p each. It's quite, it's quite a well-rounded orange flavour to be fair. I was expecting it to be quite astringent and quite unpleasant. Um, I don't know why, I think it's just because I've got it in my head that it's a, a cheap energy drink and cheap energy drinks like the... I think the LSV I actually quite liked but it, it was very sour. 
Um, but having had the, the Bulldog one, that was an original flavour, and that being actually really good, I shouldn't be surprised that these are good. But I've seen this brand in Pound Shop and Poundland, Pound Stretch, I've seen it in, in all of them for, for ages, but I've always just passed them over as just a cheap energy drink brand. Um, but then when I saw that they had the different flavours, because it's only the original and the sugar free I'd seen before, when I saw the different flavours I picked them up and then I noticed, oh made by Bulldog Power, that's the one I'm here to get anyway. That's really cool. So we're going going in with the berry burst. Berry burst. Hmm. Now I don't know what it is, but traditionally I'm not a fan of berry flavoured energy drinks. Unless it's cherry. Is cherry a berry? Yeah, I, d I don't know. To me, they always just taste a bit. I don't know, thin and earthy. This one smells earthy. But it also smells quite tart. It smells like cranberries. I guess. I guess if you look on the can, it's red, and that they look like cranberries on the can. But yeah, that's what, that's what it smells of more than anything. Cheers. Ooh, it's very sweet. It's, it still does have the same amount of sugar. And I wouldn't expect it to have any different, but it tastes like it's got more. Yeah, they've all got 4.5 grams of sugar. Ooh, um, to me, that definitely tastes of cranberry. It tastes like um, one of those Ocean Spray Cranberry Juice Drinks. But fizzier. Maybe a bit sweeter. That's not bad as berry drinks go. That's it's probably still not even just compared to the orange. I can say this berry one isn't the one I'd pick up, but it's quite different. I think if they said cranberry on there, I'd have had a better idea what to expect, and I'd have been a bit more excited than just you know generic berry burst sort of thing. Um, even bang that bangster berry, even that didn't do it for me. You know, it's it's not like it's just like cheap berry flavors. I'm just not a big fan of berry flavors. Uh, strawberry especially usually but yeah this this cranberry one's all right i could get on with that um i probably wouldn't get it again but i'm glad i've tried it it's, it's a bit different yeah i'll try the apple so i feel like the lemon one is a lot to live up to so we'll try the apple one first Oh, it smells very strongly of apple. Oh, it's nice and green. It's lurid. We like that. It's always a good sign when it looks like it's gonna, you know. I I I, I don't know. Like for, for for me, when I see a green drink, I, I like apple flavors, melon flavors, kiwi flavors. When I see something green, even when I'm expecting it to be green, even when I know it's apple flavor, when I see that it's green. I get excited and I think I'm, I'm going to enjoy this one. Yeah, that smells very strongly of apple. It smells like an apple tango. Cheers. Yeah, it's, it's very sweet. The orange one, not so much, but the, the cranberry one and the apple one, they taste like they've got more sugar in than they have. Yeah, this is... Now, I can't say without having them side by side, but going off memory, um, I'd struggle to tell that apart from Apple Tango. If you told me that was a can of Apple Tango, and I, I was blindfolded, I'd, I'd believe you. But that's based off memory. I could have them side by side and be like, yeah, they're completely different. And obviously I wouldn't believe you, because Apple Tango is not that green. It's more of an apple juice colour. Um, but, well, if I was blindfolded, I wouldn't see that. But yeah, that smells and tastes like Apple Tango. That's really strong. If they could have a cherry one that smelled and tastes like cherry tango, I'd, I'd be all over that. As it stands, next time I see this, I'm probably going to buy five or six cans of it. Might buy a couple of the orange as well. <coughs> Excuse me. It's tradition to point out at this point that these, uh, these drinks are quite gassy. 
I mean, they're, they're no more gassy than normal. It's just I'm drinking them from a little glass, drinking them back to back. It's just, you know, it's, they're fizzy drinks. But yeah, um, if my memory's serving me correctly, you're going to have a hard time telling that apart from Apple Tango. Oh, a lemon one. I said this has a lot to live up to. We've got lemon heads from Rain. It's a strong lemon flavour. We've got the lemon Relentless. Again, I wouldn't normally buy Relentless, but you know it's an option. And as lemon flavours go, it's pretty good. We've got the what was I going to say now? Monster Citron, although discontinued, it still lives on in our memories. And we've got the Burn Lemon Ice, which is what Relentless Lemon Ice should taste like. And then of course, in, in, in my memory, I've got the, the LucasAid Sport, the caffeinated lemon one from all those years ago. But the Burn Lemon Ice has, has done a very good job of... Uh, fill in that gap between my memory of that and the present. Um, so yeah, we've got we've got a bit of a heritage of lemon drinks. We've got the Monster Rehab Lemon Iced Tea. It's a bit different, but it's a lemon drink. It's yellow. It's not cloudy. It smells quite sour. It does smell quite sour. It smells more like a, um, a cloudy lemonade than anything else, which is funny because these two smelled a lot, uh, well, tasted a lot sweeter. This one doesn't smell sweet at all. Cheers. Okay, it tastes sweet. Yeah, there's not much sourness to the taste. That's. It's all right. It's, it's a nice, gentle lemon flavour. It doesn't come close to the burn lemon ice for me. But then, you know, the burn lemon ice is meant to be a, a premium brand. We only see it cheap in pound stretcher, and you know, it's it's not always there. I would absolutely pick up that over this. But the, even then, this has half the sugar. Uh, that might make the difference for you. Um, it does have the same amount of sugar as the relentless one. Would I say it's better than the Relentless one? I don't know, I'd say it's probably on, on par. I can't remember much of what the Relentless one's like. I remember it's not as good as Burn. From what I remember, it's on par. It's very... it's too different to the Rain Lemon Heads to make a comparison. So the rain lemon heads is sugar free and it's so sweet. It, you know, it's um, well, lemon heads are an, an American candy, or or a sweet as we we call them here. You know, so it, it tastes like drinking sweets. You know, all all of the rain range does to some extent, which is incredible because they got no sugar in. I don't know how they do it, and then you have other sugar free things that you know just taste thin and taste of nothing, and you have other things packed with sugar that are meant to taste like sweets and just don't. Excuse me. I don't know how rain do it, but they do. So I'd say this is too far removed from that. I'd say it is more in the same vein as the the relentless. Even I'd say it's probably closer to the relentless than Ultra Citron. Ultra Citron's got a bit more of a complex sort of lemon flavour going on. Um. I mean, they say it's not lemon, but I think at the end of the day, it really kind of is. But that has a bit of a kick and a bit of bitterness to it. This has sweetness to it and it's got a bit of a bite to it. Um, I'd, I'd rate it, I'd probably pick up as many cans of this as I would the orange. I'd probably swerve the cranberry. I might get a can for my girlfriend to try, because uh, she's not in today, so she won't be trying this. Um, the apple one, the apple one I'd buy a few of. It's just like apple tango, to the best of my recollection. Um, and that that's that's really good. Uh, I, th 
I wish I could remember the price of them. Um, I think it's, it's either 29 or 39p. They're not expensive. They are just 250 mil cans, but they're not expensive. You know, so, I mean, with, with the rain, I tend to have, at any one time, two or three cans of rain in the fridge, just one of, of a few different flavours. As for if I'm fancying something a bit sweet, uh, I can see myself doing the same thing with this. I have a few of uh, th these three flavours. Like I say, the cranberry one is not that I don't enjoy it, it's just I'd, I'd definitely rather drink the other three. Um, just if, if I fancy a little can of something with a bit of sugar, and it's cheap, so I can afford to just have some in the fridge, um, it, it's there. And it's in a variety of flavours, because, you know, you can keep... Like I said, I can keep the, the Bulldog in the four-pack in the boot of the car, but it's, it's always going to be original energy drink flavour. These, I could get one of each of the four, and it'll take up that space in the fridge, but, you know, I can choose one of four flavours for whatever mood I'm in, and it's taking up less space than 500 mil cans. Probably thinking too much about it, probably talking too much about it, um, but... Yeah, if you've if you've got this far, thank you. Um, I think I've <laughs> said said enough about them now, but yeah, um, ho hopefully that's been helpful. Um, if you see any of these, you like any of these flavors in pound stretcher, that they're, they're really quite good for what they are and what they cost. Um, I can't remember exactly what they cost, but I, I know it was no more than fifty p. And if, if they were fifty p, that's still ten p cheaper than Boost is now, since Boost has gone up by ten p. And I'd say they're at least as good, probably better than Boost. So you know, I'm I'm confident saying that they're they're good value. Yeah. Um, on that note, I'll wrap it up. Thanks very much for joining us. We'll see you next time. Cheers.